Boys. We're dads. And this is Dad vs. Dad podcast. The podcast where we bring in petty issues and you decide if they're molehills or mountains. Yeah, you vote on them. I'm Jeremy. This is Kevin. And this is a very, very special episode today. Jeremy forgot the other camera. Yeah, it's the Jeremy left his camera at home <laughs> episode. So we are next to each other. Like old times. Yeah. Except Jeremy swapped sides, so it's weird. Maybe. I yeah, don't know how to it turn. It is weird. Yeah, it doesn't hurt as much. That's good. I generally have like a sore neck when I turn. My neck's right. quite sore at the moment. Oh, I've been doing so many cracks. Yeah. Um, Especially while driving. Because I bought the new car. And because it's so small in the cab, I sit there like this. Yeah. So my shoulder's always up. It feels really <laughs> uncomfortable. And then eventually, like... Yeah. Almost die. It's good fun. Um, today is also April Fool's Day. Nope, not when this episode comes out, so it doesn't matter what day we're recording on. Today, right now, is April Fool's <laughs> Day. and yeah. it's after 12 o'clock, so we can't play pranks on each other. No, we can't. But Rusty this morning, he was, um, he ran in, and I, I, I woke up, I went out to the lounge room to find him playing his Switch and hanging out. And I'm like, hey, did you know today's the 1st of April? And that means it's April Fool's Day. So you get to play pranks on people till midday. And so I'm like, okay, have fun. Went back, laid in my room for a bit, hanging out, doing stuff. And then Rusty comes back in and he's like, hey dad, I just ate my cereal from my cup. April Fool's Day. <laughs> Best prank ever. Got me. Yeah. And then later on tried to give me another one and forgot it was what it was called. So he's like, Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Kids funny. I uh, had a fun Vera story this week, but I can't remember it. Oh, no. So forget about it. Yeah. All right. Well. Uh, oh, yeah. And also. Um, oh, how did we go? Uh, robbers won. Robbers was the biggest mountain last week, according to you guys. Um, yeah, it looks like almost no one voted though. <laughs> no, uh, we any views on this Sue one. was robbed once, and Sue also says, My mountain is Jeremy doing haikus for 10 minutes. WTF even is a haiku. So, hang on. Why would she be upset about that? Um, she should vote it up then. Obviously, they're a problem. She hated hearing them. Vote it up, they're a problem. What's a hike? They're well, a mountain. But that's blind hatred. You can't just be angry at something. Yeah, you can. I was a bit upset that you did haikus for 10 minutes. And then I listened back and I laughed at me laughing <laughs> yeah. for 10 minutes. Yep. So. So, yeah. A haiku for Sue. Three lines of syllables true. Simple yet sincere. Very slow. All uh, right. Did, did, it, yeah, it was easier last week. Anyway. Yeah, because you had everything, uh, your hands and your words. Yeah, so mm. robbers won. Yep, I am winner. Wait, I have a news that I will bring in before I bring my mountains in. Because it is important that we get some news. Because news is important. People want to know what's going on in the world. Okay, tell me. Okay, so this woman in the UK. Mm-hmm. Just passed her license test. Okay. After 960 attempts. Cost her $11,000 all up. Man, she must have really wanted that. Yeah. She must be the best driver in the world now, though. Well, no. Or... I mean, really? just got one time lucky. Okay, but hang on. That many attempts, maybe she's the most nervous person in existence. Okay. No, she's, she's terrible... Under pressure. Maybe. So Which means was, she shouldn't be behind the wheel. So 950 of them were the... The... the, the what is it? Written test, test? Test, test, yeah. Not the driving actual test. The 
just the word test thing. Yeah, okay. So she failed that 950 times, and then she failed the on the road test 10 times. But like, I failed mine six. Yeah. No, I got it on the sixth, and but then, I only did the one off. In the UK, they could just come back and do it again the next day. Okay. Which Ugh. is, yeah, dumb. And like, so you just get used to doing the questions. Eventually, you just happen to get it right after that many tries. <laughs> Although 950, that's a crazy number to try. You know what? That lady was probably like, I'm so determined. I'm going to do it. Yeah. Because she kept going back, right? And people would have like, you can do it. You got this. Yeah. Well, she needed it for a business. She drives around and crap out of the back of a van or something. <laughs> so, but I don't know how she did the business before she had the license. That's ridiculous. Yeah, that is ridiculous. Yeah. Or maybe she was just really stubborn. She'd already had her license, lost her license. They were like, "You have to do the test again." And there was one question that she was like, "No." Oh, she just been driving unlicensed for years. <laughs> <laughs> what a scuzz bag. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. Well, look. Congrats on the license. Okay. What's your mountain? She's going to kill someone. I hope so. First week. No, I hope I don't know that. (laughs) (laughs) So, picture this. Okay. The darkest, darkest time. Yep. It's night time. Yep. And it's dark. Yep. My mountain is the dark. Oh. So. It's scary. (laughs) <laughs> Where would we be without dark, though? Well, that'd be scary. You know what? I heard something today, and it was probably the scariest thought ever, <laughs> yeah. right? So, it was like sound the, the sound of the sun. Mm. So, deaf people who have no hearing, and then later on in life get hearing, are shocked that the sun doesn't have sound. <laughs> right because they'd think like oh that would make a sound surely <laughs> no why would you... because it's this Maybe. big like throbbing heat yeah. thing so when they when they finally come to and there's no sound they're like whoa what is going on yeah i figured that so it turns out that the sun would have a sound but it's stopped by something i think it's like the the like whatever Anyway. Very, very, very far away. He's probably... Well, maybe. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. So, if we could hear the sun, it would sound like a jackhammer. And picture this. If the sun were to explode, sound travels... Uh, sorry, light travels faster than sound. Mm. So, it would take seven... I think it was like seven months for the sun exploding to hit our eyes. Isn't it like seven minutes? I don't. I don't know. Yeah, uh, I think seven's uh, the number. Okay. But I don't know. I don't know. The... I, don't know. I don't know the exact. But it was like there's a certain amount of time that we would not see that the sun has exploded, and then the sun would explode. Yeah. But if we could hear it, it would be thirteen years before that sound stopped. So essentially, you'd be living in the blackest, darkest, scariest place with non-stop jackhammer. You'd be very dead long before. Well, you'd hope so. Yeah. So thirteen years, you'd be in the dark with. Just jackhammer noise. Why would you hear the jackhammer noise? Well, if you could hear the sun. Oh, if, if you could. Yeah, okay. Great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, but that's <laughs> the way. Yeah. Anyway, the dark. So I'll go back to my mountain. I, I read that today. I'm like, that's crazy. Yeah. So the reason I'm, I'm coming clean about something. This is why I'm bringing it in. Scared of it. Well, no. I mean, the kids are sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes yeah, though. It's like. Is picky about yeah. it. Yeah. Like, you don't need the dark. Yeah. Um when I was a kid, I I went to a friend's house who lived up the road. Let's call him the Colonel's family. <laughs> sure. You know. Yeah. The guys that lived up the road anyway. Um so there was one night I stayed there um and for some reason this kid's room was black yeah, yeah at night like no no lights you know sometimes there's like a light on an alarm clock yeah. or I remember grandma's house was that, that the same it was black yeah yeah because he had the thick thick curtains on all the windows and everything uh, yeah, so yeah. at night it would just no black. that's no not okay yeah so anyway i woke up in the middle of the night not knowing where i was it yeah. took me a minute to work out 
but I also had to pee desperately. Yeah. So I, like, I climbed down, because I was on the top bunk, I climbed <laughs> down the bunk bed and tried to find the door. I couldn't. I'm like, usually there's like a light in the hallway. I couldn't yeah. see it. There was literally nothing. It was black. Yeah. And like, you, your eyes are meant to adjust after a certain amount of time. They didn't. Yeah. They just didn't. Eventually, I got to a point where I'm like, I just don't know what to do. I have to piss that bad. Yeah. So, I just pissed. <laughs> so, I pissed in this kid's room. Yeah. I woke up in the morning, we had breakfast, and as I'm having breakfast, their parents were, like, really upset with this kid. <laughs> like, oh, you bloody spilled something all over your CD player. <laughs> and... And uh, it smells like bloody piss. Red faced in the back. <laughs> I'm going to go home. <laughs> so I pissed on this guy's CD player. I'm yeah. really sorry. That's uh, fantastic. He's probably only just learning about it now that uh, you did it. I've told a lot of people. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Including that person? No, never. Yeah. That, um, that was... Oh, yeah. yeah. Now you're telling everyone. Yeah, so if you have kids, just put a little light. A little light. Because if they have a... <laughs> If, if they have friends stay over, you're going to get something pissed on. Yeah. You know, them being scared of the bar dark is a benefit because it can remind you like, oh, I better leave a light on so you can yeah. piss somewhere. So yeah. you can piss. We always leave the toilet light on. Yeah, yeah. No, I've got a night light. We do the night light, but then we're like, oh, can I still have this? Yeah. TJ, bloody, he will sit there holding the light. <laughs> like just he's hot it's like he could if he could he would turn the light on and sleep to that <laughs> yeah if that's his comfort mm. the kid's insane yeah anyway all right um so the dark is spooky yeah and like do you remember as a kid you'd you need to pee in the middle of the night even at dad's where there was a hallway yeah i would wake up i'd peek around the corner I'd sprint, <laughs> I'd run, I'd shut the door, I'd piss. Yeah. And then I would do the exact same thing, but back to my room. Like, yeah. Like, the toilet, the room were the safe places. Yeah. No monsters were in there. No. But the hallways. Yeah, I was never bothered by the dark or anything. Autistic. And I liked waking up in super ultra dark black rooms, like... Ah, uh, I don't I know. know. It was just like this cool emptiness. I just really liked it. <laughs> I think I'd really like the sensory deprivation tanks. Yeah, you probably would. I yeah. mean, but that's it. You, uh, you definitely have something there. Yeah, we tested 50% autism. You test? Yeah, remember? We did an episode. Of oh, the rice test. test. Yeah. <laughs> no, we also <laughs> did the online test. <laughs> the rice uh, test yeah. was good, though. Uh, very good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, I had this idea for this cooking segment, which I'll probably tell you about later. Good. That's Funny idea, let, though. Let, yep, go. Okay. So, the dark. Okay, whatever. Shadows. No, they're fine. Well, they only exist. From the light. Like, the dark, dark is just excess amount of shadow. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, it's just an absence of light. But yeah, which is just more shadow. No, shadow is just an absence shadow, of light. No, shadow is... Less light. The light... Not There's less light there. Yeah, because we are causing that. Yeah. It's not... And when that's not the dark. <laughs> when you're inside, the house is causing that to be dark in here. <laughs> Yeah, but if you were outside, I suppose the moon. Yeah, the moon. What about caves? Yeah, they'd be dark too, because the mountain around the cave is not letting light in. It's basically what about, a shadow for the... What about, like, clouds over the moon? Yeah, that's ca shadows. No. Everything's shadows. <laughs> <laughs> Every absence <laughs> of light is a shadow. I don't know. I don't... Anyway. Um, so, my... <laughs> My mountain is shadow. No, shadows aren't my mountain. That's a silly. I didn't piss on my mate's CD player because of shadows. <laughs> you did. That's all <laughs> dark is. Okay, it's a silly mountain. I'm going to bring in a very serious mountain. Okay. It's kind of related to this old Asian lady who 
tried to get a license 960 times. Mm-hmm. Licenses, wait, driving licenses are way too easy to get. They should be next to impossible. It should be very hard for you to get a license to drive these death machines around the streets. I I think... It should be years of training. I think the logbook thing is dumb. What's the logbook thing? Because oh, you, yeah, can, yeah, you can rack up a certain amount of hours. As long as you do those hours and you mark it, then you're eligible to drive. Uh, you still have to do a test at the end, don't you? I don't know. Do you? Pretty sure. No, because you can do the one-off test and just win. Yeah. And... No, because doing the hours, and then you do that as well. No, because I didn't do the logbook. I just went and did my license. And if you do the logbook, you still do the thing at the end. That's so dumb. Yeah, yeah. Driving. It should be. What would be the point of the logbook then? Some one snowy European country, I think, like Sweden or Finland. I'm pretty sure Finland. Yeah. This is uh, (laughs) a fact here. (laughs) <laughs> it's like a two year long license test mm. and they do a lot of um, drift control tests and that because there's a lot of icy roads and that kind of thing Yeah. so they do a lot of tests in skid pans and that kind of thing Yeah. making sure you can handle a car when it gets out of control and they have the best race car drivers in the world wasn't Mark Schumacher from... probably yeah, I'll look that up one day. Yeah, and it might not be Finland. I'm just, just guessing. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's Finland. It might be Finland. Yeah, but... What like... Oh, they're very good. Uh, was it Valentina Rossi? He was Finnish, yeah. but I think. Be way... He was a motorbike rider. Yeah. Yeah, okay. But there'd be way less accidents on the road if there was less drivers because they can't get that license because it's really hard. They don't need a license. There's other modes of transport. They can ride bikes. They can catch buses. They can... Everything. Yeah, yeah. Like, well... <laughs> it's silly how easy it is to get. I, I did... It's so easy, 15-year-olds can get them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And they're like the dumbest people on the planet. They can drive a car you through know, your house. You hear a lot... I mean, have you heard of these kids stealing cars in, like... I think Queensland has a lot of it. Yeah. They're stealing cars and going for joy rides and, like, these expensive cars and just fang in it yeah because it, no one can do anything about it yeah they can put them through the courts and the courts go that's naughty you're yeah. very young stop doing that parents get involved yeah and the parents are like can't control my kid yeah and then they just let it back out yeah. so these bloody 15 year old jerks are cruising around going oh, i can joyride in whatever i want yeah because they're not like killing anyone or anything they're just driving well eventually they kill themselves yeah, and so maybe if they should make licenses impossible to get, driving without one, death penalty. <laughs> <laughs> well, bad enough for safe the roads would be. There'd never be a crash ever. Yeah, no one would ever crash. Me and you wouldn't have licenses. Speed too much. No, nah, I'm pretty good. <laughs> I'm pretty good. No, I'm the best driver in the world, though. <laughs> you know what? When when you were, I don't even know if you were on your P's. I think you were fully licensed at this stage. Mm. I remember someone accidentally cut you off on a Form 1 lane. So you high beamed them the whole way home directly behind them. Yeah, yeah. I used to be a very aggressive driver. You were the most aggressive driver. Yeah, I do not drive yeah. very aggressively anymore. Yeah, I don't know. I, I kind of just got real zen. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. Think don't just, do and that. Like, yeah, don't let young people drive. Like, sure, it's good for their, like, independence and all that. Just kind of a pushy. Nah, because I learned to drive when I got my P's. Yeah. I learned to... I learned not to drift a car by doing something stupid and and crashing yeah. a car. Like, you learn these mistakes. But I'm also, very lucky because I didn't kill anyone or, or myself. You, if you got your license when you're older and smarter, you just know, okay, that's a bad idea because you'd probably die. No, no, I don't. I mean, you learn these death traps. Yeah, you either learn them from experience or you learn them because you're old enough to just know better. You know, the best it's... advice I ever got from anyone while learning to drive, what? Dad, what? was um, everyone on the road is out to kill you. <laughs> yeah. Saved my life. Yeah. Because it's just like, that's a very, very good way to look at it. It's like every other car technically can kill you and will kill you if yeah. you're not paying attention. 
my best advice was from SpongeBob SquarePants when he's learning to drive. Big Doing toe. the test over and, Yeah, big toe. <laughs> <laughs> just put your toe on the accelerator so you don't just yeah. spin out all over the place. Man, my car, the cabin is so small that like, oh, I've been getting stuck in traffic a lot lately because I've been driving on the GDE. Yeah. And it's just, it's, every time there's an accident, it takes me an extra hour to get home. Yeah. Yeah. And because my cabin in the car is so small, my knees cramp up yeah. and my ankles cramp up and I'm like sweating bullets. Yeah. I'm, mm, mm. Hate yeah. it. Yeah. You should get an old S class. I really feel like I, I, I actually kind of want to do up my car. Your Little, Toyota? Yeah, my Corolla. Yeah. Yeah. What kind of do it up? Make it faster? Make it a little bit faster because it's very, like it, you put your foot down and it like takes a second to kick in and then it kicks yeah. in, but it's like really, oh man, I wasn't ready for that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I like my little one. It's a little, mm. it has enough go. Although I would like a fast one. I do want to get the GTI version. My focus was the best car to just thing about. Yeah. I love that thing. Yep. Miss it. Um, yeah. All right. Are you done with telling me how bad things are? Yes. Let's all... Now, no one's going to vote up because everyone knows deep down that they would fail a hard license test. Prove that you would pass the hard license test by voting it up to get people who wouldn't pass it off the roads. Do you think refreshers would be a good idea? Refreshers? Yeah. Driving refresher test. Oh, yeah. Make them do that every year or something. <laughs> every, every five. Maybe ten. Five or ten. Um... And yeah, they, yeah and actually, because eyes and too. laws change, and yeah, 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 and society changes. You've got bike lanes, and people don't want to drive. Like, I'm not bloody stopping for these guys. Yeah, and they put ads on the TV. Give them one point five, but like, no one watches TV anymore. No one's watching TV. So half people don't, probably don't even know you're supposed to. Not no one run listens over. to radio. Yeah, and the ads that they put on YouTube aren't benefiting us. No, they're not going to show us the government ones. So yeah, of show course us not. Ads for no, whatever. Anyway. Yeah. Alright, my next mountain. <laughs> yeah. So, imagine this. There's someone up ahead of you. You yeah. know them. They're friendly. It's a work colleague. Yeah. You've just arrived at work. Yeah. yeah. Hey, buddy. Hey. And they stand there and they hold the door open for you. Well, you shouldn't have said hi on approach. Anyway, go on. What if they don't? What if they say hi first? Yeah, okay. they do. Yeah. They say, "Oh, hey!" They're being polite. Yeah. Very good. Very good. And they hold the door. Yeah. But you're so far away that you're like, "Nah, don't do that. <laughs> don't." Yeah. So my my mountain is long door holders. So people who hold the door for more than like ten meters, right? Yeah. So it's like, "Hey, buddy!" By the time you get there. The boy, like the beepers are going. Like, what if it's a lift? The lift doors are shutting, and you're like, "No, no, just, just go up. I will get yeah. the next one." And then you have to either they stand there awkwardly, or other people who are in there stand awkwardly, or then you have to do the weird like rush in. You're already sweating because you're overweight and struggle to walk anyway. Yeah. So you're like, <laughs> you're like you feel like you got to speed up. To... Yeah, yeah. So yeah. It's just the most frustrating position to be in. But also, if you're the guy holding the door, you're like, are they too far away? I've already said hi. Yeah. If I shut this door, are they going to be now like... Now you look like a jerk for like holding it for a bit and then closing it. Yeah. I tell you that. Yeah, it works sometimes. I'll get the door for them if they got bags and stuff. Yeah, that makes like, sense. They'll look like they're ready to go. I'll get the door. They're still not ready. They're like stuffing around with their bags and stuff. I'll shut this. And I can't again. just close it and wait for him. Like it's already open, and yeah. So you're a long door holder. Yeah. Only well, for, yeah, but they're not like far away. <laughs> I suppose you're not like, going to stand on I'm... the other side of the door watching them, and I'll do like a quick <laughs> glance behind me before I open a door. If someone's quite close, yeah, hold it. But if they're like, you know, I'd have to raise my voice a little to say hi, <laughs> not holding the door for him. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, it's, 
there's too much distance between the door holds. Yeah. You know, like if by the time that they get to the door, the door is shut. It's too long. Yeah. Right. But if they can walk to the door and it's like slightly, like it's just it's shut, shut on them, yeah. then you're a dick. So you've got to assess the, the speed of the door then. So you have to science it, right? So you have to calculate their speed when they're walking in. As you say, hello, yeah. you have to be like, hello, three kilometers per hour, <laughs> 10 meters back. They're going to make it. I'll hold this door. Yeah. But if not, then you just have to be like, no, nah, okay. I'll see you in there, pal. Yeah. What was that? I'll see you in there, pal. <laughs> what was that? Yeah. <laughs> There was a real great XKCD comic about that, but I couldn't find it just now. Uh, I'm sorry to hear. It's really good. I'll wait for it. Every XKCD comic is very good. Anyway. All right. Sure. I guess those guys are a problem. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Are you done with your silly little door? Yeah, well, what are you... I've given you everything I had to say. Yeah, okay. Uh, my mountain is a good, fun, big mountain. Mm-hmm. It's serious. And it's in, it's a five-parter. It's that serious. Five what? <laughs> five-parter. Okay, so... it's not a five-parter. I've just got five examples. <laughs> I'm going to be here all night. Okay. No, no, it's not that long. Uh, so my mountain this week is annoying car features. Here are some examples with my five, top five worst car features. I'd, yeah, okay. Okay. First, mm. pop out door handles. I don't know if you've seen these. Like the Tesla has them. So if you look at the door, it's just like flat and the door handle's like flat with it. Oh, I have seen that. I did. I thought it was like a push-in thing and it... Well, you push in one end and then the other heart puts it out and then you pull that. Oh. So it's like a two motion thing instead of just pull, like a normal door handle. Okay. Very annoying. Yeah. Okay. I can see how that... Two touch screens in a car. Yeah. Awful. Especially for controlling, like, the climate control and, like, all that kind of thing. Windscreen wipers, whatever. So much like a Tesla. Well, Teslas do that. A lot of other cars do that. Okay. Like, most cars do these days, especially in the (laughs) higher up models. Um, Apparently, Volkswagen's one is awful. Oh, Um, really? Okay. Yeah. But it's just... Like, buttons are tactile. You can feel when you're pressing them. You kind of know where the dials are in your car. Mm. You just kind of press them. Whereas on the touchscreen, there's a bunch of different menus. You've got to swipe through or go to the air conditioning Yeah, no, one, you're not going to focus if you're doing that. It's too much. And yes. Yeah. No, I hate it. It's an awful idea. And then you've got these grubby screens with fingerprints all over it in your car. And you're uncomfortable with that. You've been yeah. eating chicken all day. And you never, like... Yeah, it's, I feel like it's just a... Way of avoiding making buttons. I love buttons. Yeah, I do. Not pressing a good button in your car. Like yeah. the light switch in my one, it's like a really good... Well, you know how there's like those those dials that you you turn and they have like a little clicky feeling, but they never stop. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they're yeah. a good dial. Why yeah. would you ever want to move that for a touch screen? Forget yeah, exactly. it. Stupid. Give me that clicky dial. All right. Okay. Number th- and is this three? Number three, lane keep assist. This is a very annoying one. So it sounds great. The car can see where the lanes are. It can see the lines on the road. Yep. And if it senses you're veering out of it, it'll like control the car to get back in line. Ugh. Which can be very unnerving. <laughs> yeah. It can sense them wrong. Like all kinds of things can go wrong with it. It's just you want to be in control of the car at all times. Did mum have that like, thing? Yeah, mum had it in her. That was the thing that she was, like, losing her mind on, yeah. Everyone I know who's dealt with it hates it. It's just awful. I'm thankful I don't have to deal with it. Yep. Uh, Number four. Hang on. I had a missing one. (laughs) We're going to sit here and wait. This is a mountain. Oh, yeah, I know what it is. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Second one is... Fourth one. Yeah. Second worst <laughs> car feature. Yeah. Uh, electronic park brake. Electronic. So you push a button for the brake to stop. No, 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 for the park brake. 
So not to, well, yeah, no, you're not yeah, going to yeah. be like. Ooh. So instead of just pulling a lever, it's all mechanical, easy, done. Breaks on, breaks off. You got this little jeet. Like that didn't need to be streamlined. This isn't like that isn't a That's hard, not hard action. You know what's even worse? Yeah. The foot pedal. The that, foot. I don't. I don't have a problem with that one so much. So you like a physical touch. As long as it's you physical, like a physical, I do. Okay. Like the foot one can be annoying, especially if you're used to driving manuals. Oh my god! Or trying <laughs> to like not knowing that there's a handbrake or a foot brake, and you're like looking around the car for an hour. Yeah. The Nissan Leaf, I just like a lot of Nissans. Oh. Um, but yeah, the electronic. It's this little and to get it off. Some yeah. of them automatically do it when you put it in park. Park brake on. How convenient. Put it in drive. Thumbs off. Battery dies. Your handbrake on permanently. You can't get that off if you need to tow the car anywhere because your battery died. You've just uh, got a park brake forever. That's infuriating. Yeah, this is the dumb. <laughs> electric it's cars just, have a lot to it. Like there well, was. This is an electric car. Cars have had this for a long time. Oh, petrol oh, cars. Yuck. Most new petrol cars have this. Terrible. I hate it. Yep. And my number worst, most worst feature is annoying dings. Your car. Some cars will have really annoying chimes for things like seatbelt not being on or whatever. Yeah. It can be really annoying. Nee, 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 or oh, something that's like that's horrible. Yeah. Um, or like when you lock some of the Nissans, their new lock sound, instead of having like a beep or something, it's the horn. Honk. <laughs> oh, yeah. But, <laughs> like, Jesus. Yeah, no, I love the, um, I love the ones where it goes, blip, blip. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's so, a good there noise. There are nice noises. And, um, a I, lot of the new cars, because there's a lot of sensors on them and that kind of thing. Yeah. So there's a lot to warn you about. So it's got all sorts of different chimes and dings yeah. and beeps and stuff going off all the time. Uh, I like the dings in my car are pretty nice, actually. You open the door with the lights still, it's like, bing, bing, uh, bing. Mine, like a really gentle... Mine is... Meh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's or some like bad ones. The Nissan, we like, leave the key in a... Man, same thing. Yeah. It's just that's annoying, but, and it is. It's just a noise to annoy you. It's like we're supposed to, you know, get your attention and everything. But you can do it in a pleasant way. Like a nice sound is still going to be like, oh, okay, I've left something on. Although, if it's a hazard or it's going to cause you a major inconvenience, and you are just sitting there like, oh, what's that pleasant beep? It could be loud. And you pleasant, would. Though. You would. No, because you would You'd be. You still hear a beep and go, I need to address something. But it, it, wouldn't it be so much better just to be like, oh, I got to stop that noise. And then you stop the noise. You're like, thank God for that annoying noise. No. No, because I and would. Because you also can't override them. So like you've got your backpack on your passenger seat. You know what this it's is? Like, seat build on, seat build on. I've worked it out. What? You're autistic. Oh, everyone hates these sounds. No, well, if you don't hate listen, these sounds, listen, you're a, a weird But you are autistic. very sensitive to auditory noises. <laughs> Loud beeping. It's just another sign. You're annoyed by the car noises. <laughs> ah, it's all right. I kind of like I. It's an annoying noise, but I'm also not like stupid lights being on. Yeah. I had to hear the noise. Like, um, what car feature annoys you? Um, small cabins. Small oh. cabins. That's and, not a feature. Well, <laughs> it is because <laughs> they're like. I think my car's meant for a female. Um. Yeah, it's a mum mobile. Yeah. Um, what's annoying? Um, you know what I hate as a passerby in a car? Yeah. I hate looking at people's side mirrors oh, yeah. and seeing the orange or the red. And I'm like, I'm not a dangerous person. <laughs> oh, it's like so... Because when I first started seeing that, I thought that was them indicating to go in my lane. So you see it. You, you see orange out the corner of your eye coming from the car next to you. You're like, oh, that person's going to change lane. Like, you've got to, oh, do I you slow adjust down your or speed? do I speed up? Yeah, yeah, do I yeah. let him in? Or... And you look over and it's just a little warning. There's someone there. That should only come up when they're indicating or something. When they go to change yeah. lanes, to get, look, there's someone there. Instead of just like. You know what would be cool? Getting a windscreen. It'd be so fucking expensive. But a windscreen, I think that's our first swear. We did okay. Yeah, we swear all the time. No, oh, today. Today, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. We did pretty good. Yeah. Sorry, everybody. Um. There's a windscreen, but rather than being like the tiny little mirrors, like as someone approaches closer, 
and like it's a tiny little orange tinge and as they get closer it gets darker and darker and redder and redder until you've crashed <laughs> wouldn't that be fun <laughs> why <laughs> no <laughs> so you're sitting there like avoid the red yeah it'll be good well you know a feature i like that mazdas do what we got a heads up display on the window so you can see your speed limit and stuff yeah on the window yeah so like you don't even have to look down at your gauges they're just right there oh like a projector yeah yeah the, the teslas really need them because you know craning your neck over to look at the speed limit awful that but is they so that dumb there, how is how is that a legal functioning well, car to have they make them as cheap as they possibly can. They cut every they corner. Really There's no do. dials, no nothing. Just a screen in the middle. That'll do them. It's a computer, and you just drive it. Yeah. Um, Piss off. Yeah. All right. No, it is, I really... I don't know. I, I like the look of a Tesla. Yeah. But I've heard and seen so many things that I'm like, this is horrible. Yeah. Like the person getting trapped in it when it yeah. catches fire. Oh, yeah, yeah. No door handles. That's yeah. a feature. <laughs> Like, Ugh. it's just, as far as safety goes, someone should sue Elon Musk. It, it, someone should sue, sue everyone for everything at all times. Every annoying car feature. So America have a really fun suing system. Sue everyone. Well, basically, it's like everyone, when you sue someone, it's not like you sue. So you can't just be like, I'm suing Tesla. You'd have to be like, I'm suing Tesla. And the company that sold me the car, and they have a percentage of blame. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. That's a percentage of blame. It's really yeah. crazy. Okay, that's fun. Yeah. Uh, yes. So, yeah, vote up annoying car features, and write in the comments what your most annoying car features are. What do you hate about your car or other cars you've been in? Um. Let us know. Vote it up. Spread the word so everyone else votes it up. It's got to be the biggest mountain because we all drive cars and we've all got little things about them that we're just like, this bloody feature. You know what? Uh, there's... Oh, man, I've got so I've got a new mountain for next week. It's a car <laughs> one, a car involved. Oh, a car one. Ooh. Is it just a car feature? Nah. Okay. Well, uh, <laughs> yeah, this was a flat one. No, Hoping you're a to... flat one. Uh, this was a fun, interesting conversation, Jeremy. That's what we did today. Yeah. We were a bit sleepy. No, Jeremy you're was. a bit sleepy. Jeremy was a bit sleepy. <sighs> but we're next to each other. It's weird. Um, I am feeling very uncomfortable. Yeah, my neck's quite sore. Uh, oh, I can't turn right anymore. Yeah. So go vote. You can... R slash Mountain of Mel Hill on Reddit. Comment all your most hated vehicle features. We love hearing from people. Um, and uh, so my mountains this week was the dark and long door holders. Mine was licenses are too easy to get and annoying car features. Yeah, okay. That's, yeah. All right. Well, bye, Hungries. Bye, Hungries. <laughs> <laughs> Did you wink at me? <laughs> We're dads. How good's a person who doesn't know how to wink? Yeah. Double. Double wink.